Instant coffee has come a long way since its invention in 1890. Today, it fuels everything from morning commutes to late night study sessions. At the heart of this global habit is Nestle's Nescafe, responsible for over 1 billion cups a day. It all begins with more than 100,000 farmers in coffee powerhouses like Brazil and Vietnam, harvesting over 13 million bags of beans annually for Nestle's 24 advanced factories worldwide. Nescafe sources its premium beans from the best coffee-growing regions. Coffee plants bloom with delicate white flowers that quickly give way to red cherries after six to nine months. When 95% of cherries turn red, it's harvest time. While hand-picking still exists, large farms use mechanical harvesters equipped with 1,500 vibrating rods that shake ripe cherries loose at a rate of up to 60 bags in five hours, a job that once took days. Once collected, the cherries travel by conveyor to a wet mill within hours. There, a gravity separator sorts ripe cherries from unripe ones in water tanks. Ripe cherries sink while others float away. Next, rotating drums strip away the outer pulp, and leftover skins are sent off as compost. The remaining beans, coated in a sticky layer called mucilage, are placed in fermentation tanks filled with clean water. Over 12 to 24 hours, the water naturally breaks down this coating. Farmers monitor this step closely, as over-fermentation can ruin flavor. Once softened, the beans are washed vigorously, often by hand with wooden paddles, and rinsed multiple times until spotless. Clean beans are then spread out to dry under the sun. Farmers rake them throughout the day to ensure even drying, aiming for an ideal moisture level of 11%. Depending on weather, this can take one to two weeks. Once dry, the beans head to a hulling machine that removes their final parchment layer, revealing vibrant green coffee beans. These green beans are sorted, bagged in 60 kilogram sacks, and labeled with origin and grade for traceability. They're stored in ventilated warehouses until ready for processing. At the factory, robotic arms unload the heavy sacks onto conveyors. Bags pass over moisture sensors, with unsuitable ones rejected. Approved bags are sampled by a robotic probe before being palletized for roasting. Before roasting, the beans are sifted to remove debris and defective beans. Then, human tasters brew and sample up to 100 cups daily to maintain quality. Their expert palates can detect even the slightest imperfections because a single bad bean could spoil a whole batch. Once approved, the beans enter a massive, double-walled rotating drum roaster heated to 370 to 540 degrees Fahrenheit. Paddles inside keep the beans moving for an even roast, lasting 8 to 20 minutes depending on the desired flavor. Fun fact, lighter roasts keep more caffeine, while darker roasts sacrifice some caffeine for bolder flavor. After roasting, the beans cool in a large tray with fans and rotating arms. In 5 to 10 minutes, the process halts roasting and locks in aroma and flavor. The cooled beans then pass into an industrial grinder, transforming them into a coarse powder. This powder is brewed into a concentrated coffee extract using steam and pressure. From here, it takes one of two paths, spray drying or freeze drying. In spray drying, the liquid extract is atomized into a fine mist inside a giant chamber, blasted with 1000 degree Fahrenheit air moving at 400 miles per hour. Moisture evaporates instantly leaving fine coffee powder to settle at the bottom. For premium blends like Nescafe Gold, freeze drying is used to better preserve flavor. First, the extract is condensed into a thick syrup, then frozen at negative 58 degrees Fahrenheit in a 30 meter freezing hall. This coffee ice sheet is broken into granules by rotating blades. Those frozen granules then enter a low pressure chamber where they're gently heated to 140 degrees Fahrenheit for five hours. Here, remaining moisture sublimates, turning straight from ice to vapor, preserving delicate flavors and aromas. Once dried, the coffee granules head to packaging. They're filled into jars via conveyor lines moving at lightning speed, with some factories filling up to 320 jars a minute. Each jar is sealed airtight to lock in freshness and capped before a label is applied. Finally, the finished jars are boxed and shipped worldwide 
from supermarket shelves to your kitchen counter, ready for your next effortless aromatic cup. And there you have it, from cherry to instant coffee, every step carefully engineered to deliver convenience without sacrificing taste. Next time you stir a spoonful into hot water, you'll know the incredible journey behind it. If you enjoyed this behind the scenes look, hit like, subscribe to From the Factory, and tell us in the comments. How do you take your coffee?